What's up, y'all? My name is Nija, and I'm just gonna basically talk about my experience as a gaijin, um, being black, being in Japan, and um, you guys are just gonna come with me and um, just listen to my experiences, and I'll videotape some stuff as well. Um, this is my first day, though, being here. Um, I landed yesterday in Haneda Airport at like, I want to say 10.30. And I got to Suda College. That's where I'm going. Um, so I'll give you guys um, a little bit of a backdrop of where I am from. I'm from Seattle, Washington. Um, yay. I went to Bush, the Bush School. It's like this small little liberal arts school. Um, and I go to Spelman College. So um, I'm coming from an HBCU, a historically bad college. Um, it's really different being at an all-girls school in Japan versus being at an all-girls school in Atlanta. So um, I'll just give you a little roundabout. I keep looking at myself, like just making sure everything's in the right place. My weave, got everything. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, so I basically landed in Haneda Airport. Haneda is a lot smaller than um, Narita. So just be aware of that. However, um, the immigration, the immigration lines are so much longer than Narita. Like Narita is like fast, fast, fast. Immigration there, they're taking their sweet time. So just be aware that you'll be taking mm, 20 minutes out of your life. Um, first of all, in line and then another 15 at the little kiosk. Um, so, um, I got all my bags. Um, I had, I packed a large duffel bag for my carry on and then a purse for um, my handbag that I can carry on. Um, so I think with the new, I don't know what it is, but with Delta, like I had a free, I had free baggage, two free bags. So they might have just done something wrong or whatever, but um, I didn't have to pay. So to kind of take my bags across, I did, I carried two 52 pound bags. I'm gonna tell you right now that that is way too much luggage. <laughs> like it's way too much. Um, I know I'm staying, I, I knew I was staying four months, and I feel like that's a long time to me. I'm a girl though. Of course I'm going to overpack. But um, it, I lugged it from Haneda Airport with one of my uh, big sisters. Um, your big sister is basically like they give you an international uh, relations uh, major student, and they basically guide you where you need to go. And so she met me. Um, I think her name was Maikiko. She met me at the airport. And um, she helped me, but it was just, those bags were way too heavy. We went through Shinjuku, we went through Shibuya, we went through all these dang stations, and I'm transferring um, trains, and I'm carrying, you know, a 50-pound bag, and then another 40-pound duffel bag, and my purse. So the good thing about Japan is that there's not much crime. The bad thing is, is that there's a lot of walking. So regardless of the fact that like, you're still gonna be taking these small little um, elevators and escalators, just be aware of your surroundings. Like Japan, even though there's a bunch of people and it functions super well, it's just there's not much space. Like, and I know that sounds so blatant and you're gonna be like, Naja, like, of course I know that. But like, just be aware that like, we as Americans, I don't know about other countries, but as an American, I take up so much space and I forget a lot of the time. So just be aware of that. Um, when I got to Tsuda College, um, just remember to take off your shoes. Most of the time, not all the time. Like when you're going into class or anything like that, of course you're not gonna take off your shoes then. But um, just know that when you're going into dorms, you're going into the gym, you're going into the you know spa, uh, the bathroom, you're going to switch shoes, okay? They're, they're going to have little shoes and you're going to put your feet in there, okay? I know that sounds weird, but it's just like you have to take off your shoes like most of the time. So bring slippers if you don't feel comfortable, like I don't want to have fungus, blah, blah, blah. Bring shoes. Um... Another thing, I, I keep looking at that like four, four minutes. Dang, I've been talking a long time. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. <laughs> um, so another thing I noticed was that um, I'm gonna have, I'll show you guys my room. Um, you guys can probably see back there. That's my little closet or what have you. They give me enough space. I'll show you like a whole tour of my room. It's super small, but I'll show you a whole tour of my room. 
but um until it's like all decked out and cute and stuff like that y'all gonna have to wait um so they showed me my room my big sister did um and um uh, i went right to sleep it was like one o'clock two o'clock in the morning so i unpacked and went to sleep um so i woke up um eddie son my other big sister um took me to um another town so we are in the kodaira she uh, area of Tokyo um, and that's where Suda College is so um, I hope I'm saying that right but one thing I did notice is that not many people are gonna be speaking English you know um, unlike European countries and like you know Canada of course Mexico like a lot of people they don't know English and you just gonna have to deal um, read the signs really well just understand a little bit of like like you know don't go this way don't go that way um, just at least a tiny bit um, if you're coming to Japan please please at least at the very least understand a little bit of katakana and hiragana I mean I went to um, a dollar store and you can see the receipt right here I went to the dollar store and it's like a hundred yen, hundred yen you see I went to the dollar store and it was super cheap but because I knew katakana and hiragana, like I could dif di differentiate the difference between certain products. Like I was reading um, onigiri, and like one said like plum, <laughs> and the other said salmon, and I was like, I'm definitely going with the salmon. Um, so just make sure you understand, like read a little bit of like, you know, hiragana, katakana, understand it, okay? Um, another thing I noticed was getting your card it's so cute and pink isn't it cute yeah Japanese people really know how to make like cute stuff anyway so just understand that like you're gonna be taking the train a lot taking a taxi just like in America is super expensive so um, just understand the train system and everything so we went we took the train we went to the dollar store we went to Starbucks I know kind of America but whatever um, so uh, we went to Starbucks we what else did we do mm, we shopped um, like I said, understanding katakana and hiragana and understanding the prices, like understanding what this is, what hyaku in, in is, in is, yen, in, hyaku in, this, understand that because literally I saw a pillow and I was like, ooh, we should get that. She was like, um, it's $40. I was like, no, okay, pass. Um, and I found another one that was like the sim, really, really similar. But it was only like 12 bucks. So I would say just understand like the prices and stuff like that. Um, the dollar is pretty close to the Japanese yen. So you're not going to be losing that much money. You're going to be losing a little bit of money. Like Japan's pretty expensive. But um, because like certain products are super cheap, you'll be saving it in that aspect. Um, so what else did we do? Oh, one thing I will say. Um, I did come back and I had to take a shower because before I left, um, I woke up at around 10 o'clock, jet lag. So I woke up at around 10 o'clock, it's Sunday, um, and I noticed that the hours for the shower is 7 to 9 and 7 to 9 a.m. And again, um, like, I want to say 7 to 1 a.m., 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. So that means in between those times, the hot water is shut off. So be mindful of that. Wake up it, like early or go to sleep and take a shower before that. So um, just FYI, hot, sho hot showers are just not as normal. I don't know. They just, it just doesn't happen as much. So like just be aware that like there's a huge gap. I mean, I had to take a freezing cold shower, but that shower was just like, wash, 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 go, go, go. So like <laughs> I'm about to take another shower right now. Um, so just be aware of like the fact that like, you know, in America we can take a shower wherever we want, but like here you're just gonna have to do it on their time. Um, so that's about it. Um, be mindful of your surroundings, understand katakana. Um, also people are going to be in your personal space all the time. Like it's like New York, except for the fact that like you have to be pushed into the, into the subway um at train and um it's a little bit worse because uh you just it's i didn't realize you could be it could be worse than uh, new york but it's kind of like super super crowded so people are going to be in your face um uh, asking you questions in japanese that you don't know the answer to 
So uh, just be mindful of that. Like most people are going to stare at you. Most people are going to ask you questions. Um, but it's, I think it's for the good. Like most of the time I just get questions like, where are you from? Why do you want to, why are you here? And it's not like, why are you here? But like a like, why are you here? Like, that's really interesting that you would pick Japan as like, you know, a study abroad location. So a lot of the time people are just gonna like just be really curious about uh, young people being in Japan uh, and learning Japanese and it's really nice and relieving when they un when they know that like you understand a little bit so just understand like you know a little bit of the greetings I personally don't know that much Japanese but I'm willing to learn and I'm attempting Japanese and that makes them so ecstatic <laughs> like I, I ordered my food in Japanese today for lunch and the lady was just like sugoi like awesome like that's so cool like she loved me so might be because I'm charismatic or I'm just kidding now I don't really know but the point is is that like just make sure that you have this positive attitude of like I'm gonna kick butt today and I'm gonna make sure that like I assimilate to the culture like immerse yourself in Japanese culture so with that said it's 11 11 um, I'm gonna stop and I will let you know what my classes are like tomorrow I have orientation tomorrow so yay nervous um, but I'm excited. So that's all for now. And I hope you guys like my first video more to come soon. So thanks.